Overnight, uh, witnesses in different neighborhoods of Khartoum reported two huge explosions heard across the capital, which has a population of 5 million. Residents of El Obeid, 350 kilometers west of the capital, also reported fighting and explosions in their town. General Abdel Fatal al burhanis army and General Mohammed Hamdan Dagros Dredred Overnight, witnesses in different neighborhoods of Khartoum reported two huge explosions heard across the capital, which has a population of 5 million. Residents of El Obeid, 350 kilometers west of the capital, also reported fighting and explosions in their town. General Abdel Fatal al burhanis army and General Mohammed Hamdan Dagros dreaded parameter rapid support forces sent negotiators to Saudi Arabia on Saturday for only technical pre-discussions on corridors secured for humanitarian aid. But so far, no announcement has been made in Jeddah on the Red Sea where the talks are taking place. The head of the UN for Humanitarian Affairs, Martin Griffiths, who arrived in Jeddah on Sunday, has already left. He proposed the two parties to commit to guarantee the passage of, of humanitarian aid via a declaration of principle according to the UN. Since its beginning on April 15th, the conflict has left more than 750 dead and 5,000 injured. Nearly 150,000 refugees have fled to neighboring countries, according to the UN, while the number of internally displaced people in Sudan now exceeds 700,000, more than double the 340,000 counted a week ago. Those who remain in Khartoum live in barricaded in their homes without water or power, with almost dry food stocks and less cash. They survive in the, in the scorching heat thanks to networks of solidarity between neighbors and relatives. Before going to war, Generals Bohan and Dagro had together hosted civilians from power with their 2021 Hatch. The two years earlier, the army had agreed under street pressure to dismiss dictator Omar al-Bashir, who had been in power for 30 years. Thank you so much for watching.